Jake, how's it going? Oh, cold balls out there. What took you so long? You know what? Sorry, sir. I, uh, it's been a busy. You night. know what? Forget it. Hey, you there? Did you cook? You know, there's um, if you're hungry, there's actually snacks. Excuse and... me. Excuse me, sir. Like, I'm on the phone. Could you just drive me to my location? That'd be great. Jesus. Thank God I took a hit of weed. Like, I feel a little space, rock. What? No, I'm talking to the driver. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I walked all the way from Queen Anne. Come on. Sir, please remove your feet from my dash. Let's see if I can give you a tip. Yeah, I'm still talking to the driver. I'm just trying to get a ride to my location. You know what? I'm gonna have to call you back. This guy's being a dick. <laughs> Mr. Wise Guy. Something funny, sir? You know, the only thing that's funny is the fact that you have no respect for others. And what are you gonna do about it, Mr. Uber driver? Legally, I could kick you out. But we're gonna have a little fun. What the fuck? Haha, <laughs> one phone call and the cops are on their way. <laughs> You were saying? Ah, the child lock. Invented June 7th, 1949, to prevent children from getting out of the car and hurting themselves. You're making a big mistake. I'll have you fired for this. <laughs> no, no, no. The biggest mistake is using your disrespect and privilege and thinking you can get away with it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, now, now we're sorry. <laughs> it's too late now. Okay, all right. There's something we can do. Some way we can work this out. Oh. Story time. So as I was a little boy, my mom would tell me this story about her father and how he was a driver for the man. And this was about the 1940s. So the disrespect was a little bit heavier than it is now. Nine times out of 10, the passengers that entered the car would spit on him, slap him, and verbally harass him. He never batted an eye. So I decided to dive into the same line of work and instead punish those who continue to repeat the cycle. In this day and age, disrespect is different. It's hidden by sarcasm and laughter and insecurity. It must be stopped. Don't punish me, I'm a brother too. <laughs> I'm not gonna punish you, nor am I gonna kill you. I just wanna send you a message and let you know now don't let the man fool you. Be yourself and be respectful to others. Cool? Respect.